hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name remains bidemi ogoyemi in today's video i want to talk to us about how to avoid or how to resolve copyright issues on youtube have you ever received a message from youtube saying your video cannot go worldwide due to copyright claims or have you ever received copyright strike this could be a youtuber's nightmare in short, some YouTubers' account has been demonetized due to copyright claims or copyright strike. Some people's accounts have even been completely deleted from YouTube due to copyright violations. You want to avoid this. You do not want this to happen to you. And that's why you need to watch this video to the end because I'm going to be giving you strategies on how to create content without getting into trouble with YouTube. Going to be telling you the things that can cause copyright claims copyright strike i did that on one of my youtube channel that's already monetized and when i uploaded the video youtube told me that the video is not eligible for monetization due to copyright claims in short two of my subscribers asked me questions on different videos about copyright one of them told me she's got a first copyright strike and she wouldn't like to lose her account. That is why I'm bringing solutions to you. What is copyright infringement? Copyright is the right given to creatives on YouTube in order to protect their work or to have the right over their work and how it's being used. So when a copyright is on a particular music or movie or image, that means it can't be used anyhow or on diverse social media platforms five things that can lead to copyright claim and strikes on youtube i want you to listen attentively because you do not want to have such claims or such strikes on your channel the first thing and the most popular thing i think is using copyrighted music i know to enhance the aesthetics of our videos sometimes we tilt towards using background songs using instrumentals on our videos some of these instrumentals and musics have been copyrighted by the producer. So once it is used illegally or without their permission, YouTube can easily identify and put a claim on it. In other words, if that video by any chance go viral, all your hours and efforts will go down the drain because YouTube will tell you it's not eligible for monetization due to copyright claim. Or they could even tell you, you have a copyright strike that needs to be resolved. That means you need to take off whatever you might have put on your channel that belongs to someone else. You don't want that claim. You do not want it. You do not want it. You can't say because you like a particular artist, the artist is your favorite artist. That does not give you the right or the permission or the effort to use the artist's work or to use the popular musics on your videos or on your channel, especially for those that are vlogging. So popular music can get you copyright slam. You want to avoid that. The second thing to avoid is using video clips. Video clips from either TV shows, from movies, or other YouTubers' video clips. You want to avoid using them because they could land you copyright strikes. The third thing to avoid are images you might be like why images an image you downloaded from google can give you a copyright claim or a copyright strike on your video just imagine this is about the third time i'm recording today the first time i didn't switch on my mic i recorded for over 25 minutes and i realized that i didn't switch off my mouth so there was no sound the second time i switched on my mic but because i was too conscious checking it several times i mistakenly switched it off and then i've recorded for about 20 minutes and what time are we now let me show you the time this is 1 27 a.m i've not even gone to bed and i'm going to work in the morning look at the effort and the time i'm putting into my channel to now get the copyright strike because of an image i took from google if i now get a copyright claim do you know how devastating that would be you don't you don't want to pick up photos anyway don't worry don't worry in the later part of this video i'll tell you where to get your photos i'll tell you where to get the music just calm down there are other ways to it but don't use what will land you into big soup with youtube the fourth thing is unlicensed 
game play streaming a game are you a streamer are you someone who streams games make sure you have the permission or it will get flagged the fifth one is re-uploading of entire video that could land you a copyright strike and a copyright claim when you want to use someone else's content make sure you add your own originality to it all of these things i've mentioned are big corporates of copyright claims and copyright strikes you really want to avoid them then don't worry towards the end of the video i'll tell you what to do if you've got any claims or strikes on your channel one thing i would like you to always put at the back of your mind is because i found it online doesn't mean i can use it say it to yourself because i found it online doesn't mean i can use it when you say that to yourself you remind yourself at every point in time when you are tempted when you see a beautiful image or you see a beautiful video or you are tempted to download it and just upload it tell yourself because i found it online doesn't mean i can't use it how to avoid being copyrighted how to still use some of these things without getting the copyright claim and the copyright strikes number one use royalty free or licensed musics use royalty free or licensed music you can get royalty free musics on epidemic sound you can get licensed musics you on youtube audio library you could go to youtube audio library and get varieties of instrumentals and music that you could actually include into your video without getting a copyright slam or a copyright claim some other youtubers will tell you that you can use their songs as long as you put them in your description i tried that and it didn't work i tried up to four or five different songs i used those music they say they are free music on youtube copyright free music i saw them on youtube i used them they said put them in your description i tagged them put them in my description and all i still got a copyright claim i don't believe that i just believe you should use youtube audio library or you should go and use epidemic sound although you might need to pay for subscription but also those music you find on InShot or you find on CapCut and they tell you just reference the owner of the song in your description i tried it and it didn't work for me i told you i have a channel that is monetized i still got copyright claims on those musics i wouldn't advise i'll just advise you to use from youtube library number two you need to know the rules you need to understand fair use don't use more than 30 seconds of someone else's content especially for those of you who do reaction videos know the rules don't use so much of someone's content and make sure you make it original make sure you turn it into your own recreate it the third point this with this point you can never go wrong with this point you could never ever go wrong that is creating your own content irrespective of how beautiful someone else creates their content you could strategize and recreate create your own content if, for example an artist have a song maybe calling jesus jesus and you recreate that content with your own voice it's your own authenticity so it's original when you recreate it so you recreate it with your own tools it will be quite different from the way the artist sang it you are not going to be hearing the artist's voice that's originality you can be creative and that's what this channel is about bringing you content strategies content ideas video editing tools even now to make money online if it is something you enjoy please smash that subscribe button and be part of the family the fourth point is get permission get permission to use other people's content get permission from the creators let them grant you the permission to use their content this could save you from a lot of trouble if you have the permission from a songwriter a song owner that you could use a part of their clips it could save you a lot of headache but the candidate is just to avoid problems don't even use their song in the first place to avoid all kinds of issues if you want to know how to add footages like pictures and videos that are licensed to your content click on the link at the end of this video it's just going to take you directly to a video that i have created I made a detailed explanation of where to get all those licensed footages from. 
and how to add them to your content. Finally, if you follow these tips, it could save you from a lot of headache. It could save you from YouTube strikes. It could save you from copyright claims. And it could save you from YouTube demonetizing your channel. If you've gotten any value from this video so far, please do well to smash that subscribe button. Write your comment down below. Tell me what you got from this video in the comment section. This video was suggested by my subscribers. If you have any question or something that you need to understand better, Pop it in the comment section. I'm looking out for your comments. Thank you so much for watching. All right. Thank you. Take care and bye.